Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> okay, so the big unveiling. Which guitar did I buy in the end? Now, before I get into this, I just want to say that I am not really a massive fan of, you know, AAA flame, um, you know, maple tops and all that kind of thing. Especially like the uh, high performance Les Pauls and SGs that Gibson have been making the last sort of couple or few years. I'm not a fan of those at all. I, I think they're a bit garish, do you know what I mean? And um, I also think because they're so like, I don't know how to say it really, um, pristine and, you know, perfect looking. Um, I think I, like, I'd be like kind of too worried to play them, like that my belt buckle would scratch it or that I'd knock it on something while I'm walking around the house with it or something. And I think because of that, I don't reckon I'd probably play it that much. So, um, <clears throat> if you know anything about me at all, you know that I quite like the look of vintage guitars, you know, Telecasters and Stratocasters and, you know, I like the blue and the black and the uh, sort of uh, Fiesta Red Strat that I've got. I prefer like old, older kind of style guitars, you know, like the first ones that kind of came out in their original cycle kind of thing. Um, you know, way back in the 50s and 60s. I mean, my um, Sunburst Stratocaster, that's, you know, got a sort of maple fretboard on it, so that's kind of in keeping with the 50s kind of style uh, Stratocasters. So, yeah, as, as you can tell, I, I prefer like the kind of more vintage kind of guitars, which I think is why I ended up buying this one. Now, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guessed already, but this is da, 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 a Les Paul. And, um, <clears throat> Yeah, before I show you, I just want to say again, you know, um, <clears throat> I do like the sort of vintage looking guitars, and I don't know if you know, but the first ever Les Pauls that were made, I believe anyway, were um, gold tops. Now, um, <clears throat> when I was younger, I didn't really like gold tops very much, I have to admit, I thought they were a bit kind of, I don't know, I, I don't know, I just didn't like the look of them very much, but I think now, because, you know, I'm sort of over 30 now, I think I've kind of got like a more refined kind of taste, and, um, yeah, I think I'm kind of more well informed about things, I guess. So, as you can tell, this Les Paul is da -da 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 -da, a gold top. <laughs> and look at it, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I don't know if you would agree with me, but I think it is an absolutely stunning guitar. I think it looks gorgeous. And um, yeah, it's got like a satin finish on it. Um, so yeah, there's not really too many worries about scratching it or anything, because I think it will just kind of make the thing look even more awesome, if you ask me. And um, as you can see, it is just a tribute. This is just a tribute. This is just a tribute. You gotta believe me. <laughs> Good old Tenacious D. <laughs> Even though it is only a tribute, I say only, I mean, it's still like a full fat, you know, red blooded American Gibson Les Paul. So you can't really diss it, you know, it's an absolutely wicked guitar. And despite how cool it looks, it does sound absolutely wicked as well, which is exactly what I was after when I was looking at this. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this because when I bought this, um, it was just before the 2019 Les Paul Tributes came out. So yeah, this is a 2018 one. And um, basically, um, because I sort of bought it at the end of the 2018 cycle, um, I had a bit of trouble getting hold of one, to be honest. Um, I went to one of the largest kind of um, YouTube guitar channels in the UK. I'm not going to name them because I had a bit of a bad experience with them. They said they had one in stock, so I ordered it, paid up the money and everything, and then I got an email back saying, uh, actually, we don't have one. So I was like, oh, for God's sake. And then they said, oh, no, we do have one, but it's in refurbishment, so um, we'll get back to you about that. So I was like, oh, yeah, cheers, about, cheers for that. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. And they kind of strung me along a little bit because I was sending them emails every day, like at nine in the morning or something. And um, they weren't replying until like half five in the afternoon. And I was kind of like, come on, mate, you know, that, that's a bit harsh. I mean, you know, customer service and all that, you know, something these companies should be priding themselves on. And then after I managed to cancel that, I ended up going to another company who I won't name as well. Um, yeah, and it was exactly the same story again, basically. And uh, yeah, after a few days they said, oh sorry, no, we don't have one. So I was like, oh, for God's sake, okay, cancel that, blah, 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 blah. And then I went online and I managed to find one in another shop and they said they had one in stock. And I was like, okay, well, I'll give it a try because, you know, I really bloody want this thing and I've been after it for like a year. So yeah, I um, bought it from them and I basically got the confirmation email, you know, within like two hours saying that it had been dispatched. So I was like, oh, brilliant. 
And then, you know, they were really good actually. They emailed me the whole way. They said to me like, oh yeah, you know, it's just left our store. Um, it's now with the courier. It's at the courier's depot. And the next morning they said it's out for delivery. It'll be delivered between, you know, five past this hour and five past the next hour kind of thing. So I knew exactly when it was arriving basically. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, customer service is a big deal when it comes to things, especially an expensive purchase like this, <laughs> you know, so yeah, um, I'll mention who it was that gave me the good service anyway, you know, um, I'll give them a thumbs up if you ever want to buy anything from them, then I'll definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, I was spending quite a bit of money on this. I mean, it was 750 quid, which to me is a lot of money. So <laughs> I don't know about other people, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, the 2019 models of the Tributes as well, they really don't look as nice as this either. I don't know if you've seen them online. Well, the ones I've seen online anyway, they're like, I don't know, they're kind of lame looking. And they got rid of the trapezoid inlays as well, which I think is kind of shit because they just put dots on there instead. And that's kind of like, come on, you know, why try to make, you know, why try to make it look cheaper than it is? Plus, I think they charge about a grand for the Tribute now as well, which is stupid if you ask me. It's absolutely ridiculous, you know. I think they're just trying to make people fork out a bit more for a studio, but I really don't like the way the studios look, so I'm so chuffed I managed to get this, because like I said, I've been eyeing it up for about a year, so, you know, it's my own fault for ordering it so late, I suppose, but, you know, that was just the time that I managed to actually get the money to buy it, so, you know, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, enough chit-chat from me, I always say that, but it's true, <laughs> I've been talking for way too long now, um, let's see how it sounds, shall we? I did used to have an Epiphone, which I absolutely adored, to be honest, and um, I will say this guitar is definitely better than that one, but, you know, that's not to diss Epiphones at all, you know, they are brilliant sort of, um, not learner guitars, I said that in the previous one, they're definitely not learner guitars because, you know, there's plenty of sort of like professional musicians that use them, so, you know, I didn't buy this because I'm like a snob or anything, it's just literally, I finally managed to get enough money to buy one and, you know, I kind of felt like I deserved it, I suppose. <sighs> I suppose all I've got to do now is learn to play the bloody thing. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. I will do a um, sort of demo of this guitar in the next video, or maybe not the next video, but at some point soon in the future, I will definitely be doing a demo of it. So um, stay tuned for that, and if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to hit like and subscribe. And I never say this, but the bell thing as well, like um, if you hit the bell, then you'll know you'll be like notified whenever I upload a new video. So um, yeah, feel free to do that, it's always a handy thing to do. And um, yeah, like I say, hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys like this as much as I do because I am absolutely in love with this. I think it's bloody awesome. <laughs> it's wicked, man. <laughs> Bye.